Hello! Today I'm thrilled to be hopping along to celebrate the October 2019 Essentials by Ellen release from Ellen Hudson, and I've created a watercolored card using the gorgeous new Mondo Chrysanthemum set designed by Julie Eversall. So let's get started. First, I stamp my chrysanthemum in both leaves onto Strathmore Bristol smooth surface watercolor cardstock with Versamark and heat emboss them with gold tinsel embossing powder. Then I tape the panel to a hardboard for watercoloring. I'm using the Alta New watercolor brush markers today, which are my absolute favorite watercolor marker medium at the moment. The colors are bright and vibrant, and they move so easily on the Strathmore paper. To start, I add a thin line of Sunkist to the curled edges of my chrysanthemum. I only do a few at a time to make sure they're still wet. Then I go back in with a damp, clean paintbrush and blend them out. I keep the color paler here and repeat the process across the entire flower. I've sped this up so that the video won't last forever, but I've slowed back down to show the next step in about a minute and a half. Once I finish all the top petals, I work on the inner parts of the petals. I apply a tiny bit of Autumn Blaze to the innermost part of the flower petal and then blend it out with a damp paintbrush. As you can see, I actually decided to go back and apply a little Rubellite to darken the inside to add even more contrast. Again, I repeated this process for the entire flower.
I used fresh lemon and paper bag for the center of the flower. After I finished the flower, I decided to mix a little rubellite and jet black to heighten the contrast even further on the inside of my flower petals. I really think it made a huge difference in the finished effect. Finally, I used emerald and jet black for my leaves. In case you're wondering, you could just use the new Altenew watercolor brush marker refills for this technique, but I actually filmed this video before those were released, so it wasn't an option for me. But I did purchase them as soon as they were announced, and I look forward to using them soon. As I mentioned earlier, I just love the colors, vibrancy, and ease of use. Once I finished watercoloring, I let everything dry and then die cut them with the coordinating dies.
I knew my finished card panel would be black, so I decided to color the white edges of my die cuts to give it a more seamless look. So I went over the white areas with a black Copic marker and also added ink to the very edge of the die cuts as well. Next, I arranged my images onto an A2 black panel and then placed the panel in my MISTI. I placed a grid sheet over the images to protect them and then arranged my two leaves around the stamped images until I figured out where I liked them. Then I picked up the stamps with the lid of my MISTI, removed the grid paper and stamped images, and stamped the leaves with Versamark before heat embossing them with the same gold tinsel embossing powder. I used the same arrangement technique to figure out where to place my sentiment and stamped and heat embossed that as well. The sentiment is from the new Totally Random Saying set. Then it was time to assemble my card. I adhered my leaves with regular ATG adhesive and then used foam mounting tape to add my chrysanthemum. To finish the card, I added a few metallic gold sequins. And that's it! You can find links to my blog and all of the products I used in the YouTube description below. Make sure to check out the full Essentials by Ellen release over on my blog and leave a comment for a chance to win one of the giveaways. If you liked my video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, have a fantastic day, and happy crafting! Bye!